friends welcome back to my channel it's your friend Ife Jola and this is chat with your life it's your first time welcome back please enable to like and subscribe to this channel and leave a comment below so today is a discussion about we nigerians fellow nigerians in the abroad fellow nigerians traveling down here or those who are planning to travel i just want you to have this mindset you see i've listened to a whole lot of things going on here and there about we nigerians or africans because i don't want to be i'm, I'm trying to be specific here because i've it because where I roll with, I see a lot of Nigerians around. That's why, you know, I'm trying to be Nigerian specific. It could relate. It could happen to other people, but Nigerians have this habit a whole lot. Was when it comes to coming to the UK and you're looking for something like accommodation here and there, which I know it's a bit crazy here. You don't need to start telling people. You don't need to start wailing about how you sold your property, on how you sold your house, on how you sold your cars coming down here. See, it is. It's, see, we all know what we do to come down here. You don't need to start preaching it. You don't need to start preaching the sentimental part of it. It's, it doesn't really work. It doesn't really make sense, honestly. It, it doesn't really help at all. So we need to learn how to stop this old habit of sentimental stuff. They're not going to pity you. See, this land is all about bills and money. Your money will speak for you. Your documentation will speak for you and everything. And this land works with rules. So your sentiments does not really affect them. So what I'm saying is you need to be very careful of what you tell people, what you tell your fellow friends, be it Nigerians or non-Nigerians. You need to please. I just go to beg all of us. I know that we could tell our people that I know that we could tell people that oh, I have only two kids coming and all of a sudden there's like seven of us in the house. Do you understand? Now I, I was engaging, I spoke with one of my favorite landlords. I spoke with him like ah this is someone looking for apartment, a family friend, blah, blah, blah. It was like, well, he has a play. But unfortunately, since he's a Nigerian, he's not trying to stereotype or he's not trying to say because we are black or something. No, he said he's got a lot of experiences with Nigerians, the way he tries to help out and the way we pollute things. Imagine someone tapping meter. <clears throat> Wait, why do we do things like that? Imagine someone trying to tap meter like you are trying to. <sighs> I hate the gist. I'm like, it's a lie. Like, it's a lie. My ear is crashing me. Like, we're trying to help you to do something and you are still breaking the law. Like, you want to pay your rent, that you promise them you're going to pay your rent, you promise them you're going to do this, and all of a sudden you breach your contract. And you expect them to, to, to help fellow Nigerians as well. See, it is some Nigerians that spoil opportunities for other Nigerians. We know that, yes, it could be difficult for accommodation because numbers, you know, when we are coming with our families, you're bringing your children, you're bringing also coming together. Even if you're bringing them, there are ways you need to address, there are ways you need to package all this kind of information. You don't need to start, you know, you don't need to start talking. See, you have to be very secretive. This is not the place where you just open your mouth to talk or trust anybody. You can't trust people because the person you trust is the one that's going to implicate you. Fellow Nigerians, we implicate each other and it is really, really wrong in this country. It is really wrong when you implicate your fellow Nigerians. I know we are brothers. I know we are sisters, but... I feel the level of things we need to learn when we are here. See, if you are in Nigeria, that is Nigeria. If you are here, be here. Another another part I'm going to focus on is our work, our work's fair. Where we are working, I mean, for instance, now you are your place of work and you have a fellow Nigerian working. Do you know when I see the tribalism at our place of work? Hey, good. I'm not trying to sugarcoat anything. Like I've heard from friends, I've heard from family relatives and all that. When they tell you, you see, eh, hmm, because they are be Igbo, no be small. You can go report me, give uh, the other person, say, I tell they walk, I'm I, I tell they walk too much. You can tell them, say, me they reduce my shift. Say, eh? guy, all of us are working together. You know what to carry you come here. I know what to carry me come here. You don't need to start telling people around there, eh, she they overwork. Imagine how much she they make, Baba, go make your own money. So let's stop that very habit of envy, that habit of tribalism, that habit of, eh, I'm not going to help him because he knock off on my side. We are one. This is what affects us back home. We shouldn't bring it in on that person's land. Another point I'm going to talk about is, you see, those coming in for visiting, or you are coming in for visiting and you have this mindset that you want to come and walk. See, this is a land of rules. You don't just talk anyhow. You don't just open your mouth and say, hey, when I enter, no worry, I go stay with Lagbaja. If I stay with Lagbaja, eh, after like so so months, I go make my money. Whereas you know that the law says if you're coming on visit, you do not need to walk. And now you're staying with a friend, you're staying with a fellow friend, and because the fellow friend who helped you, 
you know, uh, to do something, you want to not cause the scene. Or, for instance, now I, you ha I have a two bedroom or three bedroom, I decided to help you. Now, helping you now, you paid me a certain amount that you come and stay with me then. All of a sudden, you say, no, you don't want to leave because you've not gotten on that place to stay. And that wasn't the agreement. You're not saying, you're supposed to understand. Say, I never see where to stay now. You're supposed to understand. Say, no, be so it is. You see, this land, no abuse. Oh. This land, there's no sentiment here. We need to stop that habit of, I promise you this, you want to breach it. And because you know that this is a land of rules. And if you breach the rules, there are, there are, auto, there are, there are penalties to it. You know how to start causing a scene. Now, what I'm trying to talk about now is the story of someone I know that he had to help someone to get an apartment. Getting the apartment for that person, you're like, okay, you you are looking for an apartment, for instance, and you're looking for that apartment, then I can't help you, you know. Okay, fellow brother, now come and stay with me for like two weeks, pending to where, pending when you get a place. Okay, come and stay with me for like two weeks till when you find a place to stay. Oh, lovely, but you're going to pay. Yes, you're going to pay because it's more bills on my part. Fine, oh, I'm fine, I'm going to pay the money. Then two weeks have passed, brother, you're not leaving the place. Two weeks, okay, three weeks extra, you said, and eh, you see, no, sis, but understand now. I never see fine where to pay. I never see fine where to stay. Me, you understand. Then now, you're not giving attitude. You're not causing a scene. Now, the landlord came in. The landlord interfered. Police even interfered in this case. Because I help you. See, if we're helping each other, let us not breach that love. Let us not... Let us not kill that love. If we're trying to help each other, it's not about trying to help you and you're not stabbing me at my back. This is a land of opportunity. This is a land where we need each other to grow, but not, we don't need each other to start to stab ourselves. We should learn to accommodate ourselves rather than the envy, rather than having this tribalism. And if you're not Yoruba, I won't help you. And, or you go to maybe a Nigerian agency, you find a nice workplace, you not find a Nigerian agency and and I start asking, eh, yes, ma, please, ma, if you understand that, eh, I just, I just uh, came back and I've sold my whole property. I've sold my land for me to be here. See, it's not necessary. We all know how you came in. You don't need to tell us all that. And I expect them to know. Are we not one? Are we not a god? You see, these are things for paying me because... When you are in Rome, you know what you need to behave as. You don't need to start saying, we Nigerians, we are like this. We Nigerians, we are like that. We know the happy shot that. We know. Sometimes, now you they call sound. Now you they call sound. We won't help you, but you do the, you do the, you know, you do the release. We need to be very careful. We need to be very, very careful of things we do. I don't blame fellow Nigerians that do not help people out there. Because they know what their eye don't see. The fear... I go, I go give you my house now. You won't call the form done for my own house. Come on. We should learn, we should learn how to avoid this old very habit. Another point is those who are coming to school, you are schooling, whatever. You're coming to school and you say, if I reach here, don't worry. You can, well, they can say, don't worry if you reach here. Don't worry. We don't go take you. I don't to go to school. See, <laughs> see, try to attend lectures. Person will give you admission. Person will give you visa. No be mumu. Try to attend lectures. Try to go for classes. Don't breach it because you could shoot yourself in the leg. There are other ways you can actually do your ways, do your things around. Yeah, it's a very simple. So this is a law. This is a country by this. For, I'm going to use UK for example because this one based. So this is a country whereby there are laws and everything you have to follow due process. So the second class, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, go class, do assignments, go work as well. Opportunity go show, go work. Then you know attending lectures, you know having attendance, you know doing. Oh, you're going to shoot yourself in the leg. Because right now, rules are changing because of things people hear and because of what's going on. In terms of school fees, I know of a guy right now that's been expelled. They expect to see a certain amount of money in your account and you breached it. Then you are not claiming that you have friends here that will help you. Nobody will help you. See, Nigerians also, I want us to know that when you are coming in, do not put your mind that Buddha Lagbaja will help me. There is no Buddha Lagbaja here. Come with a prepared mindset that when I land, I'm going to bear my father's name. But I didn't want to say, don't worry, when you come, well, if you come, don't worry, everything goes, everything will go set. I'm going to give you an example of my husband. There was a time my husband was in London and he went for a particular program. And I told him, babe, why not just get a place to sit? Why not just get a place to put your head for the night? He said, no, that he has somebody that would help him. He's a fellow Nigerian. He said, now nah, this guy will help him. This guy is nice. This guy spoke with him. Blah blah blah. The guy even gave him address. The guy even told him where to meet. I said, baby, I promise you, this guy go. This guy go for your hand. All of a sudden, he tried calling the guy. The guy did not pick. 
for hours. They cannot be because and they survive, they survive. So you should always get this prepared mindset, not uh, imagine after all I did for this guy back home. So this guy do me for a year. Oh, oh, we're in a different ball game. This is a different ball game. So have that. So let that mindset stick with you. They are coming to bear your father's and rather than coming to depend on someone else for survivor. Rather say you want to come and do this, you want to come and do my go to make it here. You're not going to implicate your fellow brother. It's mm -mm, all wrong. It's wrong. I feel really pain because. People are no longer helping fellow Nigerians again because of the habits we portray. That pride. Leave on for us now. You're an opportunity. You're not land who won't come come. We need each other to survive. Let's not st let's stop stabbing ourselves in the back. Let's help ourselves out of love. Where's the love? You are preaching love back home, but you call me and start acting as enemies. One of the spoil things. Some of the point is information. Be mindful of where you get information from. I know be everything to open your mouth and talk. It's not be ah oh, no no no. Nah. I've heard of stories. You have to be very careful of who you give your listening ears to, where you get your information from. Plenty while are going on. See now Nigeria they fight. No be they fight because say this one cause this one. You don't go couple this way matter. Oh, you go that big. No we they hear each other. Other African countries might have their own stuff, but I know more of mine because I know I hear information about a whole lot of things, and this is really not. Yes. So these are the few points I need to talk about because it's really been very disturbing and very embarrassing hearing what fellow Nigerians do to themselves here. No other, it accrues to it happens. It also applies to other African countries. We shouldn't be the one to stop our own luck. We shouldn't be the ones to stop our luck. We shouldn't be the ones to say. Uh, there's a lot of problem, you know, from this particular country. That's why I said they always emphasize on Nigerians, Nigerians, Nigerians. And you wonder why they're not emphasizing on other African countries. Why is it Nigerian they're talk talking about? Get your information from. And I have that prepared mindset that I'm coming here to make it. Bear your papa name. Bear your papa name. You get what me they talk come again. I know be everything when they see they open up and they talk. All right, friends. So I've been able to express how I feel. I've been able to say, I don't know if I've been able to touch on a few, few points out there, you know, but let's be very careful. Let's be very, very vigilant. Go to the top lights. Like, it is, you can, it is, anyway, friends, I see your girl, Ifejos, and this is Chat to Jola. Bye for now.